Okay, so you have to get, there's no way around this. You have to, in order to have access to hot girls that you see on the street, that you see at a bar or club, and have them have a decent chance of going well, you have to cultivate your cold approach skill set, okay? What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the value of cold approach pickup. Okay, there's a, a lost art to some extent with the influx of online game and, and the COVID and pandemic situations making things a little more restrictive and tough to do cold approach. But frankly, there aren't very many good cold approach teachers. I'd venture to say close to zero online, okay? Except for myself and a couple limited others, okay? But I can also say for sure that a lot of these big channels, these multi hundred thousand subscriber channels in the niche have no fucking clue what they're doing with cold approach or are extremely terrible at it. Okay, and I'm gonna go through the fundamentals of cold approach and why it's important. Okay, but before we continue, please subscribe below if you are not already a subscriber. Press the notification bell for those new videos every single day so you never miss a video, okay? <clears throat> and if you'd like to master cold approach at a very, 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 very fast rate, I'm your best option to learn that. Jump on a free 30 minute call with me. I'll show you how I can get you very good at it very fast. So I wanna first pop up this graphic here. I did a poll on my channel. I asked guys, what is your weakest area right now, okay, in the game? The options were cold approach, texting, running dates, uh, closing, and, and something else. I think online game, okay? Cold approach was the, the winner. That's what over half the people selected, okay? And that's largely not your fault, guys. That's mostly because it's not being taught in most places on the internet, uh, or, it's, or it's very shittily being taught, that's a word, being taught in a very shitty manner, okay, by guys that suck at it. So my first 400 girls, okay, about like, 386, 387, I remember very specifically was around the time that I switched to online game. Not switched, but started incorporating online game, okay? I used to think online was cheating, and I was a diehard night game guy. I never liked day game a whole lot. And I went and, and just acquired, you know, lots of phone numbers, set them for dates, but I also had night game pulling, et cetera, et cetera. But I think, I thought then, and I still do think, that cold approach, and most specifically night game cold approach at bars and clubs, is the best way to build EXP points, so to speak, in social situations so that you can fine tune your calibration, your delivery, your body language, your voice tone, like how you adjust situations. Okay, they, they call it like calibration, micro calibration, like adjusting how you interact based on how she how she's interacting, okay, the, the delivery of your, your demonstrations of higher value stories, which are not full canned, you know, back, back in the day, like old school routines, but general value story topics, etc. And you just, you just really finely tune those social heuristics so you get very good and light on your feet in adjusting quickly and navigating social situations, okay? And the reason for that is because you're in so many different action, interactions with so many different people. In night game, you're like literally always in set. And I run short interactions typically to get the phone number and move on. Okay, if I find like a hot chick that has decent logistics, I'll lock in and set up the poll. Okay, but typically I'm, I'm shooting to acquire 10 to 15 phone numbers a night. Okay, in day game, the sets are, too, are, far, are few and far between. Lots of the girls are busy or they're, they're just like very startled and, and taken aback that a stranger is talking to them in public and it doesn't always work out. Okay, so, and you can't always be in set and you can't do a lot of the like, you know, heavy escalation and physicality stuff in the daytime. You can, but it, you know, it's, it's much less part of the game. It's gonna be out of place in a lot of cases. It's gonna make the girl feel awkward. Isolation also is not a thing, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're in night game, you're gonna be running into a lot of rejections. You're gonna be running into a lot of bad reactions. You're gonna be having to, to navigate dealing with the friends and dealing with the girl's mood and the vibe changing and, and all this stuff happening in real time. And it's really gonna build that EXP points. So not only is it going to cultivate and develop your cold approach skill set, but it's also going to help you perform better on your dates. It's also going to help you perform better when you're back at the house with the girl. It's also gonna help you perform better when you're back, uh, when, you're, when she's on rotation, you guys are hanging out. It's gonna do a very good job for cultivating EXP points in the game, in, in social situations, okay? I get on the phone with guys interested in my mentorship program, and it, it's very disappointing sometimes. I hear a guy like, oh yeah, my whole lay count is just all online. I've done two, I, I talked to a guy the other day, he's got 100 lay count, so he claims, and it's purely from online, okay? And it, and it was like some cannon fodder type girls on Tinder, meaning like fives and sixes, you know, with the occasional seven thrown in, et cetera. And he's done, I was like, how many cold approaches have you done in your life? He's done two, and neither of them led to a phone number. So 
that's severely lacking. That's a huge hole in the game. Okay, for those of you that are, that are doing well online, banging mediocre or, or run-of-the-mill girls on Tinder, that's not a very big accomplishment. Okay, I wouldn't be too proud of that because the quality, you know, if the quality is low, it's harder to get higher quality on Tinder. That's the other advantage of, of cold approach is that you can, like, there's nothing stopping you from walking up to a nine in a club or an eight five. Okay, on Tinder, you have to like hope that she matches you so that you guys can start a conversation. Right? And there's going to be guys with higher sexual market value than you, than you that are having higher chance with you. However, in a club, it's not like all the highest sexual market value guys get to walk up to her first. You can walk up to her just straight away. Okay, you, there's no like force field around her. You don't have to like wait for a match or anything like that. So that being said, if your cold approach sucks or your sexual market value is, is very low or a combination of both, which is usually the case, then she's going to snub you and blow you off. You're going to hear, uh, I have a boyfriend, where, uh, I'm a lesbian, I'm just having a girl's night out, or she's just not even going to acknowledge you lots of times, etc. Okay, so you have to get, there's no way around this. You have to, in order to have access to hot girls that you see on the street, that you see at a bar or club, and have them have a decent chance of going well, you have to cultivate your cold approach skills. Set, okay, and I'm going to at the end of this video I'm going to link to the structure of a night game interaction which is a video that I put out recently I'll pop the thumbnail up on the screen and so this is this video isn't about a night game strategy I just want to stress the importance of learning it okay now I'm not going to I'm going to make more videos on cold approach and teaching you things in cold approach but you know I just want to put out this video stressing the importance of it because in our modern day with technology Lots of guys are resorting to online. It's not as scary. They don't have to walk up to a stranger and put their ego on the line. They can just sit there and swipe while they're fucking sitting at home, you know, doing nothing. So it does take balls. That's another reason. It'll develop your, your fucking balls and, and your, your willpower as a man to walk up to a stranger and make shit happen. Okay. And it's also going to, you know, keep you humble and emotionally resilient because you're going to run into rejections. It's, there's no way around it. No matter how good your game is, no matter how good looking you are, no matter how cool you are, there's going to be girls in a bad mood that tell you to fuck off. There's going to be girls that really have a boyfriend or really have a husband or that are just really, that just really don't want to talk to anyone that day. There's no getting around that. That's fine. That's part of the game. So the message here is if you're watching this and your cold approach is poor, which according to that survey, over half of you said that's your weakest area and a lot of you that didn't respond to that survey it, it probably is your weakest area as well it's indicative of, of the, one of the biggest problems first of all it's not your fault uh, as i said lots of people on you know teaching this stuff putting out content on this stuff suck at cold approach and that's why I, like i said I, I can count the number of like really 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 solid cold approach guys on like one hand that i know okay i know a lot of the best guys in the community so even if i get you very good at it you're still not going to be like legendary status, but guys that I train in my eight week program very often go on to do 50 to 100 girls a year or more in their first year and, and, and beyond. Okay, guys that I trained in 2014, 2015, a bunch of them are over 300 to 400 lay count now because I got them good at cold approach, I got them good at the whole system, but now they're able to just repeat that and the results come in. So there is no way around this, even if it is in your comfort zone to just sit around and match with sixes and six fives and sevens on Tinder, okay, and, and you think that you're crushing the game, think again, you need, first of all, you need to develop this cold approach skill. Not Even if you hate bars and clubs and you hate approaching strangers, etc., you still need to cultivate it because it's going to put you in a lot of social interactions where you're going to develop your confidence, your charisma, your calibration, how you sexualize, how you deliver your, your stories, how you do reframes and all these different things. You're just like building up EXP points across the board as you get into new and uh, different social interactions. And it's going to finally tune your mental heuristics, which refers to categories of situations that when you encounter them, your brain can, can do like these, these shortcuts, these mental neur neurological shortcuts, where instead of like consciously processing like, okay, what should I do here next? You have enough experience so that it just, it just shortcuts. That's why, you know, to give you the best example of mental heuristics and, and mastery in a, in a skill game, Bobby Fischer in chess, he would just go and like demolish all the best chess players, look at the situation, boom, look at the situation, boom. He's not having to consciously process in a serial fashion to figure out like, what should I do next here in like a linear thing. It's just see the situation, boom, see the situation, boom. And that's the level, that's where I am at with the game. And that's what you can cultivate by, by immersing yourself and putting yourself into a lot of these social situations. That doesn't mean just go take massive action with bad strategy as RSD advocates. That in lots of cases will make you worse. You need the proper strategy so you're not reinforcing bad behaviors. If you're going out and doing terrible strategy, especially from guys that are purposely misleading you, like RSD, then 
it's going to reinforce bad behaviors and it's going to deflate your confidence and it's not going to be productive. Okay? You're not just going to go to a thousand terrible game strategy approaches and suddenly you're advanced. It doesn't work that way even though they tell you it is. The way it really works is you learn optimal strategy and you can come out of the gate getting success on night one or night two. Okay, I have virgins come out of my program, typically losing the Virginia in, in week one or two and starting to get five to 10 dates a week by week two. Okay, these are guys that weren't going on dates before, that weren't getting laid before. They get laid and start building a rotation very fast. And it happens time and time and time again. Okay, if you want that to happen to you and you want to learn how to master your cold approach very, very well, as well as the whole rest of the game, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description. Also press the subscribe button and notification bell so you never get uh, so you never miss a new video that comes out. They're going to be very, very value packed. Lots of good stuff coming all year. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have interest in a boot camp, a live boot camp to learn cold approach, I do have coaches all around the world. We can get you set up. I have a very high quality control for who I bring on my team, but I do have guys on every continent. Okay, if you want to come train me in Brazil, that's fine too. John at johnanthonylifestyle.com to let me know about that and we can figure something out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum